What's up everybody? Kyle Katana back at it again! Yes! Today, I'm going to answer a question someone asked me on Facebook. Where do I get these crazy helmet covers and why do I wear them? Hey, what's up everybody? So, I had a question on, people asked me, where do you get these helmet covers? Why do you wear these helmet covers? Do you think you look stupid in these helmet covers? Well, to answer those questions? Mm, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, now, um, where do I get these helmet covers? Okay, well, let me explain why I started wearing them in the first place. What happened was, is I saw a um, website called Moto Loot, and I saw them on Facebook that they had these like furry helmet covers and things like that, and they had, you know, uh, some generic basic ones like a cookie monster and things like that. So I decided to, like, you know what, let me try one because I just wanted to be different. I wanted to stand out, and I know some people wear them, but they only wear them every once in a while or wear them to like a charity ride or something like that. Let me see if I can beat this. Whoa. Okay, that was good. Woo. Um, so they wear them like, you know, charity rides or something like that or a bunch of group rides. And I said, you know what, I'm going to wear mine all the time. And I want to build my channel around wearing these helmet covers. Now, I started looking into them and, you know, and this and the other, and I bought one. And when I bought it, it was it was nice. I mean, it was pretty cool. It was nice and fur furry and thick and things like that. And granted, I was wearing them during the summer, so it made my head a lot hotter because there's no, my, it covers up my vents on my helmet. So, you know, I just said, you know, I can deal with a little heat. I'll just open up the flap a little bit, get some air in. I'll be okay. You know, especially if I'm, if I'm constantly moving, I will be fine. So, so I'm sitting here saying, okay, you know what? I tried out, bought it. I liked it. It was fun. Now, here's the thing. If you are going to buy these things and actually wear them and use them, I suggest you take your time to like get used to riding them, like with them on. Like don't buy one and then immediately go on a group ride the next day. Like you need to buy one and wear it for a few rides by yourself to get used to it. To get used to the heat, to get used to the, the heat, uh, the, you know, the the blockage of your view you got because that's gonna take a minute to eat years to because as you can see I have the, the this you know the helmet covers they kind of block right here and right here they block I can't see I can't see use my peripheral vision I can't see it you know I, I can't see it I can't see nothing so I have to use these mirrors which you should use your mirrors already but I use mine a lot. And you also need to make sure you double check by, because what I do is not only do I use my mirror, I also turn my head. You know, I do a whole turn and look because I need to double check to make sure I get my blind spot, you know, I don't have a blind spot or a car in my blind spot. So it takes some time to get used to this. It really does. You know, I was a little nervous at first having because I couldn't see my, my peripheral vision. You know, I had to, you know, I got nervous and things, but after a while, after wearing them, getting used to them, now it's, it's, uh, it's easy now. Now, the, another question, you know, the person asks is like, well, where do you get them? Well, I'm gonna leave this, I'm gonna leave the links below of where I get my helmet covers. Because I get my helmet covers from a few different places. When I, like I said, I started wearing the Moto Loot ones, which was nice, but 
they didn't start after wearing them for like about a few months i used to wear them they, they would stretch out they would get really stretchy and then like the top part here would get you know using my visor up for sometimes it would kind of stretch this top part out and then eventually now when i ride the top part just peels back you know like like a like a like i got a five head or something like that like i got a receding hairline to the middle of my head you know and you can barely see the nose or the eyes because it's all like jacked up in the back so you constantly got to pull it down and i was thinking about well i could put some velcro or something like that but then i won't be able to lift my visor up because it's stuck to it so i didn't like that that's one reason why i didn't like it another reason why i didn't like it because it sheds so much like it would like some of the stitching would get loose and it would shed all over the place. It was like, ugh, it was so annoying. And another reason why I really didn't like it is because they were just limited. Like they only had like the same kind of helmet covers, and they only different too. They they changed in different colors. So you had, I had a blue one that looked like Cookie Monster. Then they got a red one that looked like Elmo, and then they got like a gray one, and then like they got a green one, and they all looked the same. There was nothing different, but only the colors. So hopefully, you know, they can step their game up and kind of do some changes. You know, like you know, put less fabric on there, make it tighter on the helmet, so it won't blow. You know, it won't get all loose and you know sketchy like that. Um, and you know, and but also with the less fur and the less you know stitching and all that, it can give it a little bit of breathing room under the helmet. Because like now, it, I guess it's okay to have one now because it's cold and that would warm your head. But when I was wearing them in summer, like this one I have on is a different one from Motolu, and this is a lot cooler. It, lot, it lifts a lot more air in than the other one did. So, I'm going to put the links down below of where I get these helmet covers. Now, why do I wear these helmet covers? Huh. I made a video of why I wear them, but I'm going to kind of go over it again. Because that's like one of my first videos that I, I made, so I don't want people to feel like they got to go far back, whatever. So, I'm just going to like tell you. The reason why I wear these helmet covers is because I want to be different. I'm a type of, well, let me explain something to you. There are different type of riders. There's the riders who feel like that they have to have a bike to lean and knee drag. There's guys who like to have bikes that they gotta go fast and straight line and do drag racing. And there's riders like me, who don't care about really either one of those things. Who cares just to have fun, ride their ride, and just be seen. I mean, the thing is this, what makes me different wearing this helmet cover versus somebody who says, puts like a $5,000 paint job on their bike because they want to be seen. They want to be seen. They want to be like, oh, I see you. You know what I'm saying? Those are those type of people. I'm, and I feel like I want to be those type of people. Now, I don't have the money to paint my bike with $5,000 and I wouldn't even dare do that. But why can't I just wear something where people can double take a look like, oh, wow, look at that. Because believe it or not, wearing these stupid helmet covers has saved my life so many times. There's been times where I'll be riding and someone might get over or someone might want to turn left in front of me and they'll see this big bright orange or yellow or whatever I have on and they'll stop. And the thing is they'll stop not to, not because I'm going so fast and they can beat me, they stop because they want to see what the heck I have on my head. They want to see, like, what is it? And also, another reason why I wear it is because the kids love it. You know, there's enough bad, um, there's enough bad things that people think about when it comes to motorcyclists, especially maybe on the sport bike, where we already have bad reputations. And I'm tired of having those bad reputations. I'm tired of having those reputations where people see us only as speed demons and that all we do is run from the police and do wheelies and stop it. I'm tired of having that bad reputation. So I'm just having a fun one. Like, when the kid sees me, they're not afraid of the motorcycle. They're not afraid of who I am. 
they're just like, oh, that's so cool, look at that. And they'll guess what, what cover I have. And most of the time, they know who I am. And I like that. I like to be noticed as far as, like, kids-wise. I like to be noticed as far as adult-wise riding, you know, driving their cars. You know, I want to be noticed. I want that person to stop and double take because when they stop and double take, that means that they're, they, they pay attention to me as while I'm riding by. You know, and the thing is, like, what makes my helmet cover any different for, say, somebody wearing those stupid, um, what do you call it, those mohawks with the, with the suction cups or the little ears that they have that they, you know, they put on their, their helmets and things like that or hair or whatnot. Like, I mean, I guess when it first came out, it wasn't stupid, but I think they're really ridiculous. But I, I'm fine with it though. That's the thing about it. I'm fine with it. And I have no right to say anything was stupid because people think this is stupid. But I'll be real honest with you, I really haven't had nobody walk up to me and say, oh my god, you look retarded and you're stupid for wearing that. And even if somebody did, even if somebody came to me and says, hey, you are dumb looking, I would tell them, who cares? Who are you to me? I don't care what nobody thinks. I don't care what nobody says. I'm going to be me. I'm going to ride me. I'm going to ride my bike as I want to. I want to dress the way I want to. If I want to wear a whole suit, I'll wear a whole suit. I'm saying is that I don't care what people think. So regardless of what people put on there, they can put on my thing like you look stupid, you look dumb. Trust me, I'd rather look stupid and dumb than in the hospital or dying because somebody didn't see me. Because it's all good looking cool and stuff like that when you're riding, but when no one sees you or you don't make it like, hey, look at me, is it, all, is it worth it? Not really. I, like I said, I'd rather be called stupid and live to ride another day than fast and dumb and getting killed. Now, I'm not saying that you have to wear these to, 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 to survive riding motorcycles because people have been riding motorcycles for years before this even was even thought of. But I just use, I'm using this as an awareness because it really is kind of cool, guys. I mean, I know it, it can look stupid on the outside, but you know what? There's a lot of things that look stupid before and has hit it off and made like lots and lots of money. You know what I'm saying? Like there's trends out there that, that were probably stupid then, but are cool now. And you know what? If people want to wear these things and, and this that, and the other, I, I support you. And I'm not going to hate if you decide to wear these, you know, this, that, and the other. You know, I had one person who said that me wearing that, because he took a picture. He was in a car, and he took a picture of me. And he put on there, oh, you're giving the bikers a bad name because I have this, I had this helmet cover on. And I'm like, okay, first of all, you're telling me I give bikers a bad name, yet you took the picture from your car. Number two, I don't even know who you are. I have no clue who you are. So, he really didn't matter to me. But, who cares? I don't walk up to somebody and says, hey, you know what? You're stupid for putting $10,000 rims on your bike. I don't say that. I don't go and sit there and say, oh man, you're stupid for putting a sound system in your motorcycle. I don't say that either. You know, I respect what, you know, what their decision is. I don't talk about them. I don't go behind their back and talk about them. If I have something to say, I'll say it to their face. But, you know, everybody has their own thing, and I respect that. But, like I said, guys, this helmet cover is something that I just saw, and I just want to do, and sit there and say, you know what? Nobody on YouTube wears these helmet covers on a regular basis, and... You know, and use that as their as their YouTube channel. Like, yeah, there's some that wear them. Yeah, they wear them like once or twice a video, doing stupid stuff like wheelies and stuff like that, or or whatnot. But I wear them on a constant basis. I'll go into a store and wear them. I'll go get gas wearing them and things like that because I just like the attention. I like the you know the people that see me. And like, I don't go now that where I live at. I have people now. They know who I am. 
you know, they'll be like, hey, aren't you the guy who has a Pikachu one on? I said, yeah, that's me. Oh, that's cool. Oh, hey, are you the guy that, that blah, blah, blah? Yeah, that's me. So, oh, I saw you the other day. Like, I'm being noticed, which is awesome. So, yeah, I mean, it's just, guys, it's just something that you have to, like, get into and try it. I mean, like I said, if you buy one and you don't like it and it bothers you that much, then you know what? You can always resell it. You know, and hopefully, hopefully, maybe I can get sponsored by one of these guys who make it because, dude, it is really worth it. it and uh, I've had like a couple of motorcycle shops um, hit me up and ask me about them. And hopefully, that yeah, maybe one day I can start, you know, designing and making my own because I have a lot of ideas of, you know, of which ones I want to see and which one would look awesome but you know some I'm somewhat limited to whoever makes them now which this new company that I, I found who makes them they're, they're pretty good this is the one that I have on and like I said I'll put the link description below but yeah it looks I like this one it's pretty cool it's bright orange I bought a sweatshirt to go with it I mean it's pretty cool guys it's really cool So that's why I wear these helmet covers in. And hopefully that when I, I can hopefully maybe start a movement, I don't know. But hopefully people will, who buy these will understand what I'm saying, what I'm talking about. Well, they, will, they will notice, I'm telling you. When you wear these, people will notice you and it will change a lot of your riding style because you don't have to worry about really someone pulling out in front of you because they see you. And they, and they really are focusing on what you have on, which they want to see. You know I mean, they'll stop and take the few seconds, instead of turning in front of you to get somewhere, they'll take a few seconds to watch you ride by, and then they try to guess what you have on. Guys, yeah, so that's, that's it. If you have any more questions about this helmet covers and things like that, um, you know, feel free to ask. Um, you know, it, like I said, they're, they're very beneficial. They're very beneficiary to me, and I would think it would to you because it changes your riding style. And you know, also another thing too is if you get one of these, you know, be prepared for people to make fun of you. But what I've learned is that the people who make fun of you or the people who are hating, they actually want to do it. They just don't have the balls to do it because 